What's up guys, Caleb here, and if you know me, you know that I really, really enjoy fake Lego. Well, no, I don't enjoy fake Lego. I enjoy the mysterious side of Lego, and just the overall, like, odd side. Way back in July, I bought a fake Lego race car, which I hated for $5. I basically trashed that set. I mean, I went really, really hard on it, and I never bought a fake Lego set again until now. So oh, my family was running some errands and we were at the Dollar Tree and I came across this weird sort of fake Lego aisle and at first I didn't pay too much attention to it but then I saw this sort of slime co covered Lego minifigure but it wasn't Lego, it was knockoff. Thought about picking it up but I decided to just walk out of there and so I walked out of the store and we got back to the car and we were waiting for my mom and I decided that I did want this so I went back into the Dollar Tree Bought it for myself, took it home, and here it is. This is unlike anything that I have seen before. This is so strange. It appears to be almost like a Lego CMF, but it is covered in actual slime. And I was so confused. They had this in two colors. They even had a black slime one. It has 10 pieces, or PC for short, and will retail you one US dollar in the United States. I just knew I had to get this and see what it was because it's unlike anything i've ever seen before what is the logic behind putting slime with legos it's like if lego made a cmf and filled it with crap and said hey guys here's a cmf and it's filled with crap it's like what am i supposed to do with this i'm very confused but fascinated by this concept and so i'm very excited to unbox this yeah i only spent one dollar on this and so i figured why not get it and just see what it's about? I feel like it'd make an interesting video. So I got it, but I don't know. Let's unbox this thing. I really don't know what to expect unboxing this. Like, I've never really unboxed slime with plastic bricks in there. But it appears to me that the actual Legos are covered in a plastic coating inside the slime. So they really are murdering the environment with this packaging here. But let's get into it. So it looks like we have a little crack here, and I'm just going to go ahead and tear that like that. And I believe it's basically just like a Ziploc. I should be able to open it here. Nope. There we go. Oh my goodness. This is... This is bad. <laughs> this is very, very bad. Now, right off the bat, it already feels wet. Like, it's already staying my fingers. There's no doubt. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's what we're looking for. So it appears that this is what the parts are packaged in. I just, I don't get it. It's covered in, like, mucus. It's disgusting. I think it's also worth noting that it says it may irritate skin or eyes, so I was thinking about wearing gloves for it, but, you know, you only live once, so I, yeah. The rest of this is just slime. Will it pour out? I am so confused. What on earth? is happening. Why did I buy this? Now after further unboxing, I suppose you could call it, I decided to put this radioactive slime on a piece of paper because of the strange fact that like if you put it on a table and then pick it up, it's wet, but then it dries in like two seconds. It's it's strange. Like it's not the sticky kind of slime, which I enjoy. See, well maybe okay, maybe it's sticky. Yeah. Oh See, it's not, like, it's not sticky, it just gets the paper and the table wet. So it's not sticky slime, it's wet slime? It's very confusing. So the packaging advertises that you should actually just scatter the parts out in there, and then also on the back as how to build it. So this is one of those ones where you have to connect every piece, which I just hate. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and box this, you can see his face just poking out at me. Dude, this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Oh my goodness, this is a nightmare. Okay, so I'm unboxing this, and somehow slime got into the packaging, and so the actual figure himself is now slimy and sticky, and wow, this is, this is wild, dude. I have never seen anything like this. Why would anybody do this? I, goodness gracious. So here is our zombie warrior himself, and literally if you tap his hand at all, it tends to fall out. His head does actually move side to side, as is on a ball joint, which I found fascinating. The hair also tends to get knocked off pretty easily. He is this strange, it looks to me like he's like a gangster, I guess. His face is certainly scary. I mean, they gave him that. He's got 
that kind of zombie look to them. And I don't know if it's just the cheap plastic and the way that you have to connect every single piece for this guy, but he's he's quite low budget, clearly. You can see the mucus has started to stain his pants, and yeah, he's not the greatest looking figure. I will be, I think he was better than the race car driver and the other fake set. Like, it's really, really bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not that level bad. It's just, it's bad. Now that it's soaked my paper, I suppose we can just pile this guy in here. As this is how the packaging suggests you do it, is kind of with him scattered throughout the slime. Like, I've collected Lego for years, and I've never seen anything like this. Obviously, this isn't Lego. I think it'd be fascinating if Lego did anything like this, but I feel like it could actually be good for somebody who, like, my little cousin who literally just wants, like, slime and a minifigure. Like, they don't need a complex build, they just want something fun to play with, and I suppose this might actually be good for that. For one dollar, it's not a terrible deal, it's just not a Lego set. You can't even call it, like, a CMF. Like, it's not just a minifigure. You get a minifigure covered in mucus. Obviously, there's, like, no build to this, no stand. You can't display it on a shelf. That's another problem. Like, this isn't displayable. I don't know why anybody would want to display this little guy, but it's not displayable. <laughs> it, w it literally will not work. I think it's got to be the first liquid sort of Lego product that I've ever seen. I've never seen anything liquid like this. Please do let me know your thoughts on this strange set in the comments below, because it's not even... It's just undescribably interesting. I can't even say it's bad. Like, it's bad, but... It's more just fascinating to me. I don't know. Anyhow, the Super Productions sign off for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with my latest content. I will see you guys later. Peace. I'm done.